Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to the Trace Cakey's channel. I'm Chantelle and this video is about banishing crow's feet naturally. Who named them crow's feet anyways? I mean, you. Why would a crow get to be the bird of honor? Why not chicken feet? I like chickens better than crows. Who's in charge of this naming anyways? While some people see wrinkles as a badge of honor, many other people do not. But before you run to the dermatologist and have them erased, perhaps you will consider the option of just slowing them down. After all, plastic smiles kind of make you look like an oversized emoji. And if that's not enough reason to keep some of them around, there was a study published in the Journal of Nonverbal Behavior that concluded people responded better to smiles when the person had crow's feet. The study subjects also found people with crow's feet were more attractive and intelligent. As you know, dermatologists are armed with many ways to treat crow's feet. Topping the list is the ever popular Botox, then lasers, chemical peels, and it goes on. Many of these are effective and many produce fast results. Even if you opt for one of these treatments, I make the case that you can still do a lot more to prevent new wrinkles from forming. So let's get to it. Retinols. Yes, retinols. There are many natural forms of retinols. If you're not familiar with retinol, it has another name, vitamin A. This molecule is a superstar and there's a huge number of plants making it. Retinols fight wrinkles by extending the life of collagen in the skin. Because collagen gives skin its structure, the loss of collagen is the main reason we get wrinkles. Let me give you a quick analogy of the importance of collagen in thick, firm skin. It would be like bleachers at a sports game. The bleachers are the collagen and people sitting on them are the skin cells. The more bleachers at the stadium, the higher the stands go. The more collagen, the thicker and stronger the skin is. Retinols protect collagen by reducing the enzyme that's responsible for breaking down collagen. As we get older, we break down collagen faster than we're making it. Retinols not only slow down the activity of this collagen eating enzyme, they also slow down the formation of the enzyme in the first place. Therefore, you don't need a high strength retinol product, you just need to use one consistently. The longer you use retinols, the better the results will be. Slow and steady wins the retinol race. I have very sensitive skin and I have never been able to tolerate pharmaceutical strength retinol creams. That is when I discovered gentle retinols made by plants. When plants make retinols, they make a variety of forms of these molecules. This helps with decreasing the skin irritation by not oversensitizing the skin cells to one chemical. My favorite plant containing retinol is hibiscus. This is because along with retinol, hibiscus also has many skin soothing molecules that my fussy skin really appreciates. I've seen a lot of products infused with hibiscus. Take a look for it in serums, moisturizers, and toners. Besides hibiscus, there are many other retinols found in plant-based skincare products. They're easy to find. Basically, any seed oil that's orange or reddish in color will also have retinols. Three key oils, usually found in night creams and hydrating balms, are rosehip oil, sea buckthorn oil, and mango butter. While they're usually included for their antioxidant powers, they also have insanely huge amounts of natural retinols. I like to think of them as bonus ingredients. Okay, here we are. We've covered how retinols help collagen last longer in the skin by reducing the enzyme that breaks it down. Now let's talk about the health of this longer lasting collagen. Just because we have collagen doesn't mean it's performing well. Vitamin B can help protect the shape of collagen we have left, allowing it to remain strong and stretchy. And because the plant world is amazing, there are many natural forms of vitamin B. Vegetables, seaweeds, and flowers make B vitamins. For mass production, we harvest it from yeast. Specifically, topical vitamin B3 is fantastic for our skin, and it's already conveniently found in many commercial products. Vitamin B3 is also known as niacinamide. It's typically marketed towards reducing oily skin or helping with acne. But what many people don't know is that niacinamide also helps reduce wrinkles by protecting the shape of our collagen. As we age, our biochemistry in the skin changes, affecting the shape of our collagen. And one of these changes is an increase in sugar molecules called glucose in the skin. Weird, I know, sugar in the skin. But remember, glucose is a fuel molecule and our skin cells need fuel too. Anyways, when there's an excess of glucose near our collagen, the collagen begins to stick together like glue. This reaction is called collagen cross-linking. This is bad. This causes the skin to become stiff and inflexible, making it bend more like cardboard instead of paper. This leading to deep wrinkles. But luckily, niacinamide stops this chemical reaction. When niacinamide and glucose are together, niacinamide binds to the glucose and prevents it from sticking to the collagen fiber. 
Taking care of your collagen with retinols and niacinamide are great ways to naturally treat crow's feet and other fine lines. Another big component to the development of wrinkles is a physical change in the skin structure as we age. We have two main layers of skin, the epidermis, which is the outside layer, and the dermis, which is the inside layer. As we age, the dermis gets smaller and the epidermis gets thicker and not in the way that we want. This is a wrinkly problem all by itself. Imagine the dermis is a pillow and the epidermis is the pillowcase. As the pillow ages, it naturally gets compacted. Meanwhile, the pillowcase starts to get baggy and saggy around the thinner pillow, just like our epidermis starts to sag off the smaller dermal layer. Fortunately, studies have shown that cardiovascular exercise increases the volume of the dermis. Just another reason to exercise. Great, now that you're going to exercise more for a thicker dermal layer, let's talk about something more relaxing you can do to reduce those wrinkles. Our facial muscles and habits also play an important role in the formation of wrinkles. While crow's feet are often called laugh lines, they should be called squinting lines. In this case, I like the name they came up with, laugh lines. It's a nice positive spin on things. However, we should pay attention to the amount of squinting we are doing. The skin will develop wrinkles where it bends from repetitive motions, just like any fabric would do. Wear sunglasses, wear hats, figure out ways to relax those eye muscles. And speaking of relaxing, the most relaxing news of all, you can reduce wrinkles in your sleep. Yes, it's true, and studies have been done here too. Actually, quite a few. You can reduce crow's feet and all other facial wrinkles as well as chest lines by sleeping on your back. It's not just advice for newborns. Think about the force you place on your skin when it's all squished on the side. Just letting those fine lines sink deeper and deeper into the memory of the skin folds. And think about how much time your skin is placed under these forces all night long. I know it can be hard to change your sleep habits, but if you are concerned about wrinkles, you should really consider giving it a try. I've attached one particular article because it brings up several great points that you may not have considered. They should convince you to give sleeping on your back a try. It takes patience and commitment to protect and regrow collagen. And changing habits is hard. It's not an instant result, which makes things like Botox, lasers, and fillers so tempting. Like most things in life that are worth it, time, consistency, and effort are needed. It will work. Even if you choose to have these procedures done, you can still do a lot to prevent the need for more by focusing on protecting your collagen on a daily basis. Exercise, squint less, and sleep on your back. I'll end this video with a cheers to healthy skin. May you be like a potato, strong, unassuming, and versatile. You have thick skin and you can transform into chips and even vodka. And be a good friend, share this video with someone in need. Okay, bye for now.